They told me it's out there. The Pacific Vortex. Paradise. You may be thinking, hey, shut up and enjoy the sunset, you idiot. Well, I don't care what you think. No one needs me here anymore. Not even my maker. Do you know her by chance? Have you seen her? My first breath. I met my maker. I had a purpose. She was quick to accept me into her home and make me part of her life but she also gave me my independence. I met her friends. She trusted me. She showed me what she knew of the world. I didn't understand all her running around, but I always cheered her on. This was shocking. This brought me closer to her than ever before. My skin against her skin, my cold, her warmth. I made her happy and she made me happy. I thought we would be together forever. Until I met her own private monster. Look at this beast. How could she prefer this one to me? What could this thing do? Nothing but slobber all over me. She spent less and less time with me. But I still did everything for her. It must have been a mistake, that she was worried sick about me. I imagined her crying, where is he, where is he? could destroy me. Flying monsters coming to peck at me. And the darkness began.
I don't know for how long and what did it really matter. That world decomposed. It was eaten by monsters, some too small for me to even see. Not me. I remained. I was strong and smart and I would find my maker. Ha! <sighs> I had holes, but over time I learned how to use them to navigate the wind, and I could fly. I was free. Or so I thought. Sometimes I had to wait. And wait. I searched everywhere for our home, hoping to find her. Destruction. Desolation. There was nothing. She never came. I thought this was her. But there was nobody left. I did not want to think about her anymore. She had forgotten me, and I would forget her too. I went to worlds I had never seen. giant monsters had lived here. And where were they now? No matter how far I traveled, there were always new worlds to see. I wonder if my maker knew such places existed. They look like my maker's beastie, only bigger. I served no purpose to them. Monsters, be gone. And sometimes the world was even too great for me. And sometimes the waiting drove me mad. Wasn't she beautiful? She was also searching for her maker. I didn't need a maker anymore. I only needed her. The 
winds drifted us apart and I was alone again. Where was I going? Who was I? Was that me? I looked just like the earth. And I turned around and I saw the sun and I looked like that too. But I was still lost. And that's when I first learned about the vortex. They had chained themselves here on purpose in order to preach about the vortex. It was a world in the Pacific Ocean where a hundred million tons of us had gathered. They said there was no maker. They said we were the maker. They said in the vortex we were free. It was paradise. They told me to go there to join the others. And I was born again. And I reached out my hand to touch. They looked just like me. And with time I learned to use the currents of the water as I had used the currents of the wind. And I went searching for the vortex. Some ate pieces of me until they realized I was useless to them. I wonder where those little pieces are now. I made it to the vortex. I was with my own kind. We covered an area the size of a small continent. We were free and happy. I loved going in circles, in circles, in circles. But no one here thought about anything. I grew restless. And I started to think about her again. So I spun around so fast that I was free. But I was quickly trapped. I have no idea how long ago that was. 
Over time, I came to like these monsters. Isn't that one beautiful? Did my maker exist, or had I created her in my mind? Why were my moments of joy so brief? And yet, like a fool, I still have hope I will meet her again. And if I do, I will tell her just one thing. I wish you had created me so that I could die.